Hey everybody, welcome back to the workbench. Let's let's take a look at my show-off shelf and see the prints that I keep around to show off how 3D printing works today, okay? So, starting on this end, I've got one of those little Japanese gates. I love the design of this, and so I just had to print it out, and there it is sitting on my shelf. I've got, uh, I'll have to put a link to where you can get this on Thingiverse, but it's supposed to have a snowman on it, go tick tock tick, and I thought it's so close to a clock, maybe I could make a clock out of it, but I never could get it to work, either because I made it in ABS and it was designed for PLA, or the tolerances were off, or I'm not quite sure. Uh, a couple of extra prints here, one for a lithophane and a, a leftover soap standle, handle and a CTR ring that if you know what that means, hey, you're a Mormon like me. Alright, what else do we got here? Oh, a couple of little prints in the back, one from an SLA printer. Um, there's my example of supports versus, you know, what it looks like when you remove the supports and why they look so crappy and why you should design for not having supports. That's a robot that I designed, and you can get that on Thingiverse. And this, this is a clock that I'm planning on one day turning into a geared clock. Will I ever get around to it? Who knows? Back here, this is my chess collection. They're 3D printed chess sets uh, with a chess set up here that I really should put on display. Some of them are down here. There's my wireframe chess set with birds in the middle of it. It's a birdcage chess set. There are some minis that I designed for using in Lords of Waterdeep that I printed a way bigger for display purposes. Uh, that's from a, the book. That's a handle. Somebody wanted a decorative handle. Uh, it's not functional, but it replaces an antique park that, you know, most of them have broken. So that was, a, you know, 3D printing. It's cool. Uh, there's a cute Cthulhu salt shaker. These are a bunch of minis I did for, many of these are for uh, Just Games game Boardcraft, and you can find information about it on Simon's Designs blog. These are a couple that I did for Vormetric. There's, there's a uh, head, what are those called? Uh, they're from Futurama, but you put that on your head and do that for Christmas. Lazy, lazy Halloween. Uh, this is a flute, uh, a recorder. But in the shape of a tree, it's got a little face on it because, you know, that's creepy. But, yeah, it's neat. Um, this is also a design from my book, but I printed it out big so I could do a promo for the book. If you look at the negative space of this vase, it has a familiar face in it. The two faces are facing each other and the space between them becomes the vase. So, hey, that's pretty cool. This is a bag of, well, I'm not really sure what's in here. What's, what is this? I can't see. Uh, oh, oh, that's, uh, that's Shogi. Yeah! China, Japanese chess. Really cool. There's a couple of, uh, test prints and, and prints with my name on it, because, you know, branding. Gotta do that. These are a couple of really tiny pawns that I made from scans of my kids' heads. Uh, and, and printed them out on, on, uh, one of those expensive 3D printers, but I had some free prints, so I thought I'd do it. I didn't realize how small they were, and the level of detail that I was able to accomplish kind of excited me. There's a monkey skull that I made. Uh, in the back is, well, they're all kind of taking a break right now, but the, uh, robot chess sets that I made, there's all of the different versions of them. Also back here, there's a Kapala skull from, uh, Spelunky, a couple of different ones of those. And up here I've got Y, H, and T to demonstrate overhang, bridging, and why you should sometimes just straight flip them over and print them in a different orientation. Y, H, and T. This is a gear skull. If you haven't got one of these, this is one of the best prints for showing off 3D printers because people just see it and play with it and it's just cool. And a 3D printed dice. This is a ring hold or a ring... Um, Measuring thing. It's got the different ring sizes on it so I can tell how close my 3d printed rings came out And uh, I've got a couple of yellow lantern rings. I don't know why I went with the yellow lantern But I did uh, This is a game From uh, Dutch mogul. It's a space-based game and I redesigned the pieces so that they'd uh, be printed on uh, pegs that stood up a little bit higher so, pretty cool. I haven't actually played it, but I love the pieces for it. And I've got a couple other bags of games back here that 
Uh, well, this game is called Breach. You can see the bag for it there, but I've also got some pocket tactics back here. I love pocket tactics. I just wish it didn't involve so many dice rolling and everything. Uh, these are the Jonies, the generic toys that you can print and paint yourself. I made a couple of different versions. This one's smooth as smooth can be, and this is my bunny He-Man version. Over here, I've got my Tetraflorian for smoothing out PLA, which, you know what, uh, if you didn't see the blog post about that, Tetraflorian, if you use enough of it, will actually vapor smooth PLA. It kind of makes a matte finish instead of a glossy finish, like uh, Acetone does for ABS. It creates a glossy finish. Tetraflorian on PLA, you got to use a lot more of it than I expected, but it makes a matte finish. So, you know the video where I said it doesn't work? It works. Uh, there is a solution. It's hard to get a hold of, but there it is. These are my TARDISes. This is just a little TARDIS charm. This is TARDIS Run that opens out into the board game. And that's my TARDIS Transformer. Transforms into a Matt Smith uh, robot, which is, I mean, come on. That's super cool. Plus, it's a TARDIS. These are some more prints from my book. There is the robot from the book. There's a mug of my wife. It's a mug shot. Ah. Uh, Ah, boy, I better not come up with puns on the fly. And finally, a couple of scans of me and my kids. Missing one kid because she was too young at the time to hold still. I'll have to revisit that. So there's the show-off shelf. Whenever I'm showing people what 3D printing can do, here's where I show it to them. Thanks for stopping by the workbench. You know, you should have your own show-off shelf. For what prints do you use to show off how cool 3D printing is? Put in the comments what you think they are, and if you've got a print that I, you really think that I deserve or need to have up here to show off 3D printing, then again, put that in the comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.